वट आर इेशनल नंबर नॉन टर्मिनेटिंग एंड नॉन रिकरिंग डिसमल फॉर एग्जाम्पल कंसिडर अ नंबर फाइव पॉइंट वन थ्री टू सिक्स नाइन एट वन फोर एंड सो ऑन हियर द डिजिट इन द डिसमल पार्ट नेवर इंड सो वी कॉल इट नॉन टर्मिनेटिंग डिसमल सेकेंडली द डिजिट इन द डिसमल पार्ट डू नॉट फॉलो अ स्पेसिफिक पेट्रन लाइक पॉइंट वन वन टू टू वन वन टू टू एंड सो ऑन so we also call it non recurring digits here this number is an example of non terminating and non recurring decimal the other example is 7.31 Two five four six eight one three six and so on. Here again, the digits and the decimal part never in. Secondly, they are not recurring like point one one two two one one two two and so on. So this number is an example of non-terminating and non-recurring decimal. Now, what are irrational numbers? Well, a number having non-terminating and non-recurring decimal is known as an irrational number. For instance, five point one three two six nine eight one four is an irrational number because its decimal part is non-terminating and non-recurring. Also, seven point three one two five four six eight one three six is an irrational number because its decimal part is non-terminating and non-recurring. Now, let me teach you some other important examples of irrational numbers. For example, root two. We know that root two is equal to one point four one four two three five six two, and so on. The decimal part of this number never terminates, and digits in the decimal part are not recurring. So, root two is an irrational number due to non-terminating and non-recurring decimal. Consider root three. We know that root three is equal to one point seven three two zero five zero eight. Thus, root three is also an irrational number. Similarly, root five, root seven, root eight, etc., are all irrational numbers because the respective values are non-terminating and non-recurring decimals. Remember that square root of any perfect square will be a rational number. For example, root nine. We know that root nine is equal to three. Three is a positive integer, so root nine is a rational number. Note it down that we cannot put irrational numbers into p by q form. Let me repeat it. We cannot put irrational numbers into p by q form. Finally, also remember that pi is an important irrational number. Even though we can write it in p by q form as twenty two divided by seven, but its value three point one four one five nine two goes on. So this is an example of non-terminating and non-recurring decimal. Therefore, pi is an important irrational number. To summarize my lecture, we learn that. A non-terminating and non-recurring decimal represents an irrational number like these two numbers. Secondly, we learn that the values of root of some numbers are non-terminating and non-recurring decimals. So they are also irrational numbers like root two, root three, root five. etc thirdly we learn that square root of perfect squares are rational numbers like root 9 root 16 etc this was all about irrational numbers